Um, hey guys, it's uh, 12, 12 o'clock in the morning and I heard some weird noises. Jesus Christ, oh my God. This is the Hotel Cecil in downtown Los Angeles. It's believed someone has died in every single room of this hotel. And it also housed many famous serial killers like Richard Ramirez. Oh, you can. Oh, sick. Let me check if I can um, get your face. Say hello, Lisa. What the f? Lisa! Who's behind you? Hey? I swear to God, there's no one you there's directly anyone behind you. Seriously. I swear to God, I'm gonna stop this much. Quick, 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 quick. Got it. Got it. We're just sat here watching the voice. And look at this. <laughs> what? Oh, my heart. Oh, I just moved across. <laughs> David, can you? No, I'm not asking him to do it again. <laughs> do you blame yourself? What? Well, it's quite common in this situation for a patient to feel a kind of guilt. What situation? The accident. If you are in Banff, Alberta, you can see him in display at the trading post. If you misbehaved at all, this year, you better hide, or this monster will find you and make you her next meal. Gryla, other known as the Christmas Witch, is a giant that lives in a cave with her husband and her monster Yule Cat. She has the power to sense misbehaved children and towns nearby. The Christmas Witch will then kidnap those same children and make her favorite meal, which is a hot, fresh soup. Gryla is from Iceland lore. Written references of her can be found all the way back to the 13th century. From Gryla to Krampus to even the Grinch, Christmas monsters are some of the best. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to follow. Thank you guys and Merry Christmas. This is a story of how I tried to fly a drone into an old haunted hotel but failed miserably. But I did catch something. This was the goal. For the first time ever, we're going to be putting a drone inside the most haunted hotel in the world. I failed and the drone disappeared, but I got lucky and found it in a random parking lot around the corner. <laughs> Let's do it again. So I tried again. Part two. But as soon as I got close to the window, I lost control and it crashed. Ah! Shattered in a million pieces! However, I did catch something really weird on camera. The store slamming shut. This is what Ghost Adventure said. The Cecil Hotel has proven to be one of the most haunted places we have ever investigated. Do you think maybe there's something inside trying to keep me out? But see, that just makes me want to keep trying. Should I? This is kinda gross, part one. In ancient Rome, some people believed that if they drank fresh, warm blood from a fallen gladiator, they would absorb his power. They also believed that doing this would cure epilepsy. Pretty sure all it did was spread diseases around. Have you ever wondered what happened to the eight other species of human? Were you told that they just kind of died off? When did you realize that we actually killed them all? Let me explain. Ooh, new angle. Okay. 260,000 years ago, humans, us, were evolved. And alongside us, we had eight other species of humans, including the Neanderthals. And then 10,000 years ago, they just kind of went missing. But get this, we have the remains of Neanderthal, and they have trauma on their souls that are consistent with warfare. Side note, do you understand the psychological effect of the Uncanny Valley? It's the reason movies like the Polar Express, whose characters just look a little too human, freak us out. We've deduced that it's actually a survival tactic. For some reason, 10,000 years ago, seeing something that was human but not quite human really freaked us out. Infer it this way. We killed them all. We killed them all. This is a story about the Polak twins and how people think they were reincarnated. In 1957, 11-year-old Joanna and 6-year-old Jacqueline were crossing the street to go to church. And while they were crossing the street, they were struck by a driver and killed. 
Their parents, John and Florence, were devastated by the accident. John always believed in reincarnation, and he would tell Florence that the girls are going to come back again, but as twins. Florence was a strong Catholic and didn't believe in reincarnation at all, but then she fell pregnant. And one year later, after the accident, she delivered twin girls. They were named Jillian and Jacqueline Pollock. The twins started showing a lot of similarities to their late sisters, like birthmarks that were on their bodies. When the girls turned four, they started talking about toys that they had never played with before. They were describing the toys that their late sisters, Joanna and Jacqueline, would play with. Their mom, Florence, still didn't believe they were reincarnated until this happened. The girls were so frightened by cars. Jillian and Jennifer would even tell each other how they got killed by a car. Creepy facts that you didn't ask for, but you're getting anyways. After having a stroke or suffering some sort of brain trauma, some people develop what is called prosopagnosia. This is a condition where people are no longer able to recognize faces. Even if it was somebody that they knew their entire life, they would no longer be able to tell their face apart from other faces. They wouldn't even be able to recognize their own face in the mirror. What would you do if you had an unstoppable, powerful being that followed your every word? The golem is from Jewish lore. They are made from clay and magically brought to life. It is said that a rabbi created the golem to defend the Jewish community from anti-Semitic attacks. But eventually the monster becomes too uncontrollable and violent and the rabbi is forced to destroy his own creation. Legend says that he is still hidden in Prague just in case he is needed. Stan Lee and Jack Kirby said the Hulk was highly influenced by the golem. What would you do if you had a golem? I personally would make him do all my chores. Let me know in the comments. Scary Things You Say Part 23 My son said to me, remember when I was Uncle Maury? That was my brother. His name was Maury. He died when he was 33 and my son was born 5 years later. When I was little, over a year old, my mom was walking down the stairs. I told her, be careful mommy, that's how my husband died. What the heck? Babies know everything. I was five. I found it out because my little brother talked to me, but no one believes me. He said, I know your pain. I was screaming. My son was three and a half years when he told me how much I was crying for a baby. He'd say, God told me to wait because it wasn't my time. This is so like, oh, I, I find it fascinating, actually, not scary. Mine asks why the little boy that lives with us is always sad. I had a miscarriage prior to having him. Oh, this is so sad. My six-year-old niece once asked, Where were we before we were here? We're listening for a cry. This is Cry Baby Bridge, right? Are you here with your baby? Hi. <laughs> Where are we? Are we on a bridge? Hello? What is your name? Speak to us. A padlock here. A padlock? Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to walk as fast as I can. This is scary. What is this padlock for we found? Maybe this is where it happened. 99% of people can't finish this video all the way to the end. The video we have today is by Project Amber on YouTube. His entire page is dedicated to going to remote locations and sleeping there for a few nights in his van. What's particularly abnormal is this page has never posted paranormal content ever. Then he posted this video of him and his dog in the French countryside. In the video he's discussing the fridge that he has in one of the campers and how it has broken down and he is trying to fix it. While he's displaying the fridge on camera, his dog starts to act very weird. 24 hours I think to uh, what are you looking at? You keep freaking me out doggy. There's no one over there. <laughs> Some, I'm not. There's actually a well. Just where I'm parked, you go down this little track, and there's a well with a big metal bar on it. And uh, originally I was going to go and park there. If you actually did finish this video and you want a part two, comment your favorite drink below. Please be sure to monitor your emotional state while watching this video. Hello. Hello. About how many people are you with right now? 
Are you sure? Did you ch- Do you believe violence is ever justified? If you had to guess, how long would you say it would take to get from your front door to where you are right now? How far would you go to protect a loved one? What's your favorite color? Are you a Do you have any pets? How did your parents treat you have as you a child? Seen a dead body? What's your favorite color? What's four times four? Do you cry at funerals? Were you happy or sad as a child? Are you happy now? Where are your Serial killers you've never heard of, part one. This is Ronald Steele of Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. He was an accomplished karate expert and instructor, but in June of 1985, he decided the punching bags weren't enough. He abducted three elderly women from Washington County and took them into the woods, where he beat them to death karate style. That's exactly what the police report says. In March of 1988, he was found guilty and sentenced to death. It took the jury mere minutes to decide this. In March 2009, he was finally put to death by lethal injection. Follow for more.